here with idea number two. Idea number two is try to make your expectations of each other as a family clear. Perhaps there's an expectation that you are going to recreate school at home. Well, I'm sure many of you will have discovered that that doesn't really work, isn't really a good idea. So what are your expectations as parents of your children and what are the children's expectations of you as parents in this really quite unusual um, set of circumstances that we find ourselves in. So if you can make those expectations clear, a good, a good thing to do is just to talk about them. Your children might be a little bit too small to talk about them, in which case maybe just as parents you need to chat about it. But just taking some time to think about that and make it clear what are your expectations in this time, what are you expecting everyone to um, sort of have as an outcome perhaps of this time. Um, in the home education uh, community there is a phrase that's often used where parents will ask other parents, so what is your education philosophy? <laughs> Which sounds a bit grand, but um, it's basically asking us as parents what is it that you are trying to achieve um, in, in, the, in home educating your children? What's your thinking behind what you are doing? And uh, I have come to realise that for many parents they carry a set of values um, in doing home education. There's something that they really value and they want to try to discover together as a family. And so they've chosen to home educate to try to work out um, that sense of that particular um, quality or value that they are they're wanting to find expressed in their family life. Um, my education philosophy, as it were, um, with my children has always centred around the fact that I'm not hugely hung up on academics. Um, I've always wanted to look at how I best develop my children's character um, to make them resilient and able to cope with the real life in the real world. That's one thing that's always been important to me. Another has been that I've wanted them to develop a really good work ethic so that they know how to work hard and to keep sticking at it and to develop a really good um, attitude towards their work and to enjoy it, of course. I always want them to love learning and I always want them to remain inquisitive um, and wanting to discover things for themselves. Another thing I've always wanted is that they would take responsibility for themselves in an age-appropriate manner. So some of the things that I've encouraged them to do has to been to encourage them to take responsibility for themselves. Um, Another thing that I've always wanted is that they develop good life skills so that when they are out in the big, big wide world, they know how to look after themselves, they know how to manage their money, they know how to cook for themselves. And as parents, we can teach that. We've got great opportunity to do that. Um, the other thing that I've always wanted to uh, sort of help my children learn is that they are valuable contributors to society and of course it being in lockdown it can feel a little bit difficult how we can express that but I'm sure you're creative enough as parents to be able to find ways if that was a value that you actually really do value that you can find ways of um, helping your children to express that. So let me just encourage you uh, work out what it is you value as parents and um, see if you can explore those together as a family and then that way, set a sense of expectation of what you as a family are going to achieve in this time together where you are in very close community and not actually able to spend time with others outside.